Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we are continuing to build our beautiful Australian transportation company. And a lot of things happened last episode. Not only did we create a brand new bunch of routes, but we've, for the first time ever, now have actual vehicles. We've ditched the horses, boys. They were super slow. And we've now got cars on the go. We've also extended our train line as well, which now has, I believe, one, two, three, four trains currently on this route. And all of a sudden, we have started to make so much more money. The income has now skyrocketed to the point where last year, we made 7.9 million. Now, we've got lots of ways in which we can now utilize this money to make more money. But before we get into it, I just want to say, if you are enjoying the series and want to see more, then make sure you smash the like button down below. Don't rely on the recommended tab to give you the next episode, boys. Subscribe. You will get notified. But we've got lots of things that we need to do right now. Now, one of the things we got set up last episode was the ability to now create planks. We're now picking up the wood. We're dropping it off. Glorious. Then, we're taking those planks all the way up here, which is a little bit of a long drive to the machines factory. And we have coal and ore over to the steel plant to create steel. And we're bringing steel over to here as well. And we're pretty much at the point where we can now create machines which we could deliver to Perth. Perth will then have food and machines being delivered and we'll start to make it grow a little bit more. Now, to do that, we've got to do a lot of configurations. There is a lot of vehicles currently on these routes, and you could argue it's not that efficient, and it might be a good idea to eventually start thinking about switching out for trains. But it's very complex in this area. Doing all kinds of train lines will kind of make it a little bit difficult for us. So I'm not going to worry too much about trains in this area just yet. We're just going to make it a little bit more efficient. But I also want to extend this train line to not only picking up from here, but then going down to there to pick up. And then maybe eventually taking the refined oil and turning it into fuel. Oh, we've got lots of things to do, boys. Lots of things to do. So, before we jump into it then, I'm actually going to take a quick look at our current lines. And just to see if we're matching the rates in which what we are producing. Now, we have a route here, which is our... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Perth grain line, which the rate is 143, we're doing 150. Now, some of you guys had a really, really good idea. I'm picking up food or grain from here, delivering it all the way down to there, and then on the way back, it does nothing. Well, what if we were able to try and combine these two farms to this? So as it drops off grain here, it picks up grain and it makes money on the way back. We can make it double the amount of money it makes. Because there's a farm over here as well. Now it only is going to work if I can get the farm connected to this. And the well, the two farms over here connected to this as well. With the food um, processing plant. So I'm not too sure how this is going to work. I might need to extend this a little bit further down. For the sake of giving us that little bit additional length. That we can touch. Now if I build a street access. We should be able to connect to that one. Be no issues. So let's just quickly find out. If that is the case. Now this one. I'm going to kind of directly connect it like this. Now obviously we don't need to drive over there. We just need this. Yeah oh, perfect. We just need that to touch both of those farms. So then on this side. If we can get this to connect to this. We are laughing all the way to the bank, boys. Now, right now, it doesn't touch it. So, we just quickly edit this. I wonder if I need to do... Right, what I'll do is I'll do another... I'll do another two rows like this. To give us a street access just there. To connect down. So, we're just kind of reconfiguring. Nothing too crazy. Now, is that enough for this to connect? It is. Now, what we should see is we should then start to see grain being placed here, which you can see it now is, oh my goodness me, we're about to make the Perth grain line double the amount of money. So, it's going to be interesting now because everything is going to change. It will take a while for them to kind of get into the motions, but everything is ultimately going to change and I'm excited. 
I really am excited right now. Perfect, boys. Perfect. Now, that's just the grain route there. Let me take a look at the per food route. So, at the moment, it kind of is okay-ish. How much food is currently at the platform right now? There's 89. You could argue we could need an additional vehicle or two. So, the perf... I'm looking for the perf... Not perf grain. They do use both sides, though. I need a perf food. There we go. We're going to add two additional vehicles onto it. And hopefully we can make a dent into all of that. Now, oh, we got a new boat, boys. Next, I want to take a look at the wood route. So, perf wood. Um, you can see the rate of it right now. We can definitely add more vehicles to this. I'll add three more just to play it safe as well. So, that will make more money. And then the actual where it delivers the planks, that is a crazy route on its own. You could argue the rate is 31, that's 50. But it depends on when it comes, because when all the vehicles come at once, it will just kind of obliterate what we currently got loaded there. So we'll kind of hold out for that, leave it out as it is. Now, the ore and the coal, we seem to have an abundancy already there. Now, I feel like eventually this will be replaced with a train line. It's just, does this steel plant get enough? It doesn't. It doesn't get enough to adequately keep producing steel. And by the looks of it, it gets more ore than it does coal. Now, oh. Oh, I thought that was the horse and cart there for a second. So we do have, if we go to manage vehicles, 12 vehicles. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and duplicate. I'm then going to add 8 additional vehicles to the ore run. But not as many to the coal. I might add one, two, three, four, four. I'll add four and then see how we get on with that. Now, there's a lot of vehicles for such a short distance. This is why we're heavily going to need to get higher capacity vehicles all set up. But we'll leave them to do what they've got to do. Now, one more thing I want to check out before we extend the train line. Because while we're building the train line, all this new stuff that we've just done can kind of then situate itself. Is the routes here in Portland. Now we discovered, right, we discovered, we've got this farm here and the route of Portland grain. Which picks up grain there, drops it off. Picks it up here and drops it off. We discovered that it's taking a big hit because the vehicles taking the food from the food processing plant and delivering to Portland also pick up food there and they take away the food from us. Which makes this line not as efficient as it could be. So, we're going to change things up now. How many vehicles we got on this? We currently have 20. We'll keep the 20 there. But what we're going to do is we're going to make the food line, when it drops off food there, make it pick up food from a different place. That way we can then not have them pick up there, then the other line picks it up, then we get more food being delivered. Or more, more grain being delivered and more food to be produced. That's kind of what we want. But how we're going to have to do that is going to be a little bit difficult as well. Now I think if I connect this road to here, I can be able to build a truck stop in this area. So all the guy do is drive down here. I might reallocate or resituate the stop. So it, it's a simple drive in, drop off there, up, collect, back out, they go. Should be easy, right? Easier said than done. <laughs> Easier said than done. And then once I've done this, we'll then completely leave the... Oh, not free there. Make it longer there. We'll completely leave these routes alone for a bit and just see how they're then getting on. So if I put you there, if I just build the street connection... So I could run alongside here and you get the connection touching. And all you've got to do is connect like that. Now I'm just going to make sure that this doesn't touch that, which it doesn't. Which is perfect. And I then just got to reconfigure the Portland food line. Oh, actually, I need to add a... I need to rejig the... Um, where is it? Buildings, the truck unload. So I'm going to pull it here instead. And then the food route. So lower... Port is it lower... Port no, Portland North. Then it goes to Mill Lane. So Portland North, we're going to add a stop there instead. Delete Mill Lane, delete Lower Portland. 
there we go and then after new street here it picks up from over there and then heads back so it only picks up grain from there and brings it back which means the grain there is solely for that current route going back and forth which this there still might be too many vehicles on that route but at least it gives them a little bit of a chance to um to collect yeah now, if it turns out I've got too many vehicles, what I could also do is make swap these rounds. So they this line originally picks up from there, stays there. And we make these guys that pick up from here now on the grain route pick up from there instead. It gives us a little bit of a longer drive, reducing the rate, increasing the time it can put grain on the platforms or the, the, the station before a vehicle comes along. It could work out. It could work out, but we will see. All right, delete that original one. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of let them do what they've got to do with that. And then we'll move forward. Oh, actually, there's actually one more line I do want to get done. And that is delivering the machines to Perth. I tell a lie, there is one more line I want to get done. So, we'll do a new line from here. And we'll take it all the way down to Perth and deliver it there. Now, by that logic... Yeah, it's within the machine area. I'm just going to buy two vehicles for it. So, buy two vehicles. It needs, cargo-wise, it needs to deliver everything. Yep, yeah, so two vehicles. And you go on line one, which I need to name that line right now. We'll call it Perf Machines. And then that will mean that this then has the ability now to start producing the machines from the wood and the uh, steel that's being delivered. And then we can start delivering machines over here. And then we'll see how that route gets on. And then once we start delivering, done a few circulations, we can then see where it falls slightly short. Oh, look at that, boys. That vehicle just made money on the way back. So wait for him to disappear. Are they utilizing both? No, then I can... Set them up to kind of utilize both sides unloading. But let's have a little fast forward. It's about to come in there. Oh, did he have not? I don't think he had any on board, did he? No, he's carrying four grain. So it's working to a certain extent. It's working to a certain I suppose it, you've got to wait until we get like a big pile on there. So hopefully those minimal improvements will now just make me more money on my lines in general. Now, when you take a look at the lines and look at the balance, the ones losing the most amount of cash are Perf Machines, which I've just created, and Esperance Steel. Now, that's because the Esperance Steel line is pretty long. It goes from over here to there. But I think the vehicles are now all on the way and they're just approaching. So then it will start making money. Right, let's leave it alone because we've got the big challenge right now of extending this. Now, this line... The crude oil, uh, Kadu, Kadunura, Kadunura. I, can't, I still can't pronounce it. I do apologize. This is the one that's making us the big bucks 3.4 million recently. That's crazy. We're now going to set it up to where it not only picks up from here and drops off, but it will pick up from here, drop off there, then go down here to pick up, and then drop off there. So we're spreading out the amount of product we can pick up. We can double the amount of product we can pick up and we can add more trains to the line or even higher capacity trains. Now, the other thought process is as well, we could also make them, as they pick up their drop off there, then load with actual oil, take it down to, for example, here and drop it off to produce fuel, then go back and pick up and then go back this way. So there's another little additional thing I can do for it, but there is also this down here, fuel. Which then makes it a longer distance to make more money. Giving these longer to put more fuel on board. And obviously as long as you've got more, you know, load of trains on there. You'll be making uh, frequent drop-offs. Now, when I built this, this was a risk building it. What I'm about to do right now is also going to be a huge risk. I'm going to pick this one just because of the distance. It's a huge risk only because of how expensive it's going to be and how long it takes the trains to get there. But the rewards are going to be sky high. They really are going to be sky high. Right, so if I make this a... It doesn't need to be a long platform. 
It doesn't need to be a long platform because right now we're not picking up from it. We're only using it to drop off. So we'll keep it like that. I'm not going to do an end platform because you never know. Okay, you just never know. And then I need to then kind of combine all of this here. Now, if we can get this just right, something like that. We don't need a bypassing station because nothing's going to be bypassing it. The only trains on this line are going to be the ones we're using. But if I angle it like this, yeah, it's very expensive. I might go a little bit longer so we can hold more fuel on there. But if I'd angle it like that slightly, because the line can come down, bend in through, and then bend out and go that way. So it should work out. We've just got to get these oil refinery or oil wells connected. So if I put you there, and then hopefully it's just a really, really simple. I keep forgetting player ownership. Hopefully it's a really simple connection. Which it looks like it is. And it connects to both. Perfect. Now this is the big challenge of how expensive it's going to be to build the train lines. So train tracks. We're on the outer side one. Now if I just by default make it connect to where, where it's got to go to. What does the game build naturally for me? So the line works out really well. But I don't like the tunnels. I really don't like tunnels. I like to see them. Tunnels obviously tunnels are great. They save you a lot of money in return. But I kind of like to see them. Now, by doing that, it means it keeps the gradient almost perfect running through. It almost does. So, yeah. Yeah. So, do I keep the tunnels going all the way through? Because it's going to be cheaper. Because this is a really, really long tunnel here. Now, if I made this not be a tunnel, it's an extra few milli. But look at how much it carves into the ground. That's not going to work, is it? It's not going to. So if I bring it up like that, no tunnels here. We can terraform it to kind of work. So there'll be like a slight point it kind of goes up to. And the slight point it then kind of comes down to. So, I could slightly raise it a little bit. So, I'm going to go to there. And then connect these. Now, it wants to create a bridge. We're going to go on the opposite way, haven't we? Right, that's to try and keep costs down. But I'm slightly worried that the gradients are going to be quite large. Like the trains will... Oh, hello. I didn't realise we are doing bridges over here. Why did it not work there? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I don't want to do bridges. Because I want to see the trains. That's all it is. I like to see... Uh, not bridges, sorry. Tunnels. Oh, I can't even English now either. All right, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Confirm. And then run this. Right, now that devastates the landscape quite dramatically. It does devastate it quite dramatically. Now, because we haven't used that much money. Right. We will... Oh, what am I on here? Oh, I'm on raise. We will try and smooth. How much does the smoothing in here cost? So how much did we spend just on completely smoothing in this little section? Half a million. See, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Obviously, it's a waste of money right now to smooth it, but there's a small part of me that wants to. It does look pretty good, though, doesn't it? It does look pretty good. Right, these will be cheaper. All right, we'll rough, very roughly go over this. And we'll loosely, loosely, goosely 
go down all this side because this is where the money now gets spent. On this little section. But try and do our best. It does eat into it. And we're already eating into the mountain here anyway. But I think it looks nicer when you do it like that. It doesn't seem as bad now, does it? But we don't ultimately know how long the gradient's going to be. Yeah. Can I apply that to where I've kind of... Now we're making some money, we can kind of smoothen out the terrain on the areas. So I do want it to look good. Don't get me wrong, I want it to look good. Smoothie, 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 smoothie. Still got 14 million in the bank. Right, there we go. So now then, we've got to connect you up to over there. So we've got to go a nice swooping bend round. Which is, wow. Is going to cause many issues. So let's first off see the natural. Creates a couple of bridges here and there. That's super high. I'm going to cancel it off anyway, and we'll kind of slightly build it in a small stage first. So I reckon we initially just bend it this way to avoid that little bit of a hump. And where are we connecting to? So we're going to bend it quite large here. No, actually, we'll go to about there. Now, is that dropping down? It, it kind of is. I can make it slightly raise up. There is a tunnel. Get rid of the tunnel. So I confirm that. Right round. And then go from there to there. So no tunnels involved. There is a slight bridge, which will get rid. Confirm. And then push this all the way back. So by the looks of it, we've also got to do some work on the station because it doesn't quite... The platforms don't quite meet up just yet. So edit these platforms. Cargo. No, what? Let me just pause. I don't think that is classed. No, it's not. It's not classed as being part of the train track, so they won't stop there. All right, edit you. Place you in. No, it doesn't affect our crissy crossies. We're, we're okay on that. We're okay on that. We've got to implement the crissy crossies, which we'll do a little bit further down. And we've got to do all our signals as well. All right. There we go. Now, I, I technically don't need to do them until the very end. But it's it's one of those things. Like, even though I said no other line's going to use it, you just still never know. <coughs> so you either play it safe than sorry. And the reason I'm putting them so far away is because if I start to get, like, really, 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 really long trains in, we're going to need them. So let's just quickly sort out the signals. Oh, I gotta remember right now. And go, what did I say about the, the side of the road they drive on? They drive on the left. It's Australia, boys. It's Australia. So you're there. One set there. We'll do a set here. Because Australia drives on the same side of the road as the UK. I actually don't know if the vehicles do that in this game. I don't know if the vehicles actually drive on that side of the road. That's something I didn't really pay attention to. It didn't actually cross my mind until now. The actual road vehicles. Right, we should be okay. We'll do one more set here. Okay, maybe one more set here. This is actually quite a long. Okay, one more set here then. There we go. Right, that's quite a long-winded process. Now, I'll put it back into play mode. Let them do what I've got to do. Because I feel like we're going to need some more trains before we kind of start implementing this. Now, while they do what they've got to do there now, I'm going to spend some money on just kind of sorting out the terraining of all this train line. 
at least to all these areas. See what we can do here. Cost me a couple million I might spend right now. Especially on this area here. But just to make it look nice, visually pleasing, it's what we'll do. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? It doesn't look too bad. So, I could now go ahead and implement what I want to implement. But the downside is, I'm not going to have enough trains to do this route. This is a really long route. It's a really, 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 really long route. Should I just go for it? <laughs> and then just keep buying trains as we go along. Let me first find out, right, how much a train like this would be. So I've got four trains on the line. So we've got 11 million. If I cloned it... Whoa, how cheap was that? Okay, it's not as expensive as I was thinking. Right, so this is our crude ore route. So once it gets to Broom, we'll make it no longer utilize both platforms. It uses the one. And the one it uses will be number two. No, it won't. It'll be number one. Uh, add a station all the way down to... So it actually would pick up from there. Go all the way down to here is what it would do. And then it will come up to here and stop off on this side. Which it doesn't crisscross, which is perfect. It will then get back over to here. Which will be on platform number two. And then head back. So it does exactly what it needs to do right there. So the only time it won't be making money. So if it starts here, it will make money to there. You'll pick up the refined oil. Make money all the way down to here. Then it won't make money as it gets to here. But once it loads, it will make money going the whole length to there. Unload. And then won't make money on this strip here. So it only, only it doesn't make money from there to there, and from there to there. There's two little spots. But the distances, especially from here to here, the distance in that, would be a huge payday. It should be a huge payday. Like a ridiculous payday. Now this will be the first train to actually do it. So it comes in, drops off, and it's only going to load. We'll see how much now it loads. Just six. Because this is the first time that these are now able to produce. So we might take a hit right now, if I'm being completely honest with you. We might take a slight little hit. Because these won't produce enough to get down to there. But at least these... Well, I'm hoping these... They're not even putting anything on the platform yet, are they? This might be a bit extravagant. <laughs> I tell you boys, I've risked it all right now. I've risked it all for this. Do we get more trains? Do we, don't we? Right, let me check this line. Let me let me fast forward anyway. So, 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 so. I would have changed the whole rate now as well. So that would have messed things up slightly. But if I was to manage the vehicles, and let's say... Let me just say I um, edited... Well, replaced one. Do we have new cargo wagons? No. We currently have, in terms of steam, we're using this train here. Now, there is a better train that can go a little bit faster, but we can only go as fast as the cargo, which is 31. So, at the moment, I'm probably better off just... Right, if I clone them... Right, that's it now. I've cloned three more trains on that line. It's a lot of trains. We'll eventually start reducing the number of trains once we start upping the capacity of the trains. And another, another new engines just came out as well. Hilarious. 
Oh, a new passenger carriage. Anything else? Oh, a new tanker. No way. It's very expensive, though. But that's perfect. That's perfect for us right now, because it just shows us that we can now expand and carry more cargo. Right. Right, right, right. So, more trains going out, doing the business. Another train coming in. So, they'll kind of come in and do what they've got to do. That train's heading down there for the first time. Now, it's only carrying six refined oil. That's all it's doing right now, is carrying six refined oil. So we'll see how much it actually makes getting in. Uh, <laughs> nearly 200 grand for like six. This one coming down has got 20 on board, and then the one behind it has got 20. This one here is going to pick up 52. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, 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 no. That's different. I lied. I lied. I lied. Wait, they're going different areas? Via Esperance? Via Canara? There's only one way they can take it. So why are they able to take it from two ways? Man is the line. Can I write the boob to Esperance down to Laverton to Bruant Canoe? I'm confused to why they're able to pick up from both platforms. I really am. There's nowhere else that accepts it that's connected to these lines. So why are they able to pick up to take back? Or is that staying on 14 because maybe it was before I had the other route set up? It might be a case of it's because I before I had the other route set up. I could I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Wait for this train to kind of drop this load off right now. Does it produce any for the other route? There might be... It might be on that line there, that platform, before I finalise the actual route itself. And then once they've picked up that, they'll never pick it up ever again. It'll never produce over there ever again. Right, train's just come in. This next train coming down has got 10 on board. So, as they now start coming back, they'll start delivering more and more oil to the refineries, because they can also pick up from over here. Like, this train coming back in right now is 75 on board. Which will drop off. And the, the other downside is there's two. So, you got to fill two at once. But this is good. This is real good. This is real good. Now, do I just add more trains to the line for now? And then once we've got a big bulk of money, then we'll look to start upgrading the trains. If I get three more... Now, there's a lot of trains on the line. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of trains on this line now. But we can then just grind out this run to the point where... We're making that much cash, we can then start upgrading the engines so they're faster and upgrading the carriages that they have to carry more and they'll have a higher speed limit as well. Could be the way. It could be the way. So does that load from this side? This is the first time I get to see utilizing both sides loading. Yeah. Obviously, he's got the oil on board. He's got to now take it back. So that's kind of cool to see him using both sides. We could kind of make him use utilize both sides here. At the end platform. If needs be. So that line that was making 3 million has now dropped down to 2.8. 
give it some time and we should see it rise quite rapidly but the big winner right now is perf grain now that we've doubled the amount of money it can make it's now gone ridiculous it's now making over a million that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy Puff Machines is making money as well, so this is all working out fairly well for us. Um, we should really make the lines be able to unload both sides. So, Esperance Steel, Managed Line. What's this stop? The Geraldton North. Utilize both sides. Uh, Perf Plank, Managed Line. Utilize both sides. Just to hopefully kind of distribute the unloading a little bit easier. Makes life a little bit easier for us. We can then unload twice as many vehicles. Now, there's a lot of steel there, isn't there? There is a lot of steel. Do I need to uh, maybe add an extra vehicle or two? The answer is yes. We'll actually duplicate and get two more. See how we get on with those. See how we get on with those. Right, things are working out fairly well, aren't they? Well, obviously, we can't create the food. Oh, oh, hello. Now, it's creating food. I'm going to assume it's because it's then delivering food back over to here for food to be picked up to take to Perth. That's what I'm assuming is going on there. Which would, Which is good, but it means it's not taking the grain back. So that food, per that that perf grain, we need to make it where it's only grain. You know what I mean? And then it won't take any food. That's what we needed to do. <laughs> That's what we needed to do. Because it, it won't then take the, the... It would keep just taking food and won't take the grain. And then, it would, you know, we'll kind of have a, a grain deficit in the actual factory. Right, okay. I think we've done pretty well. Now, those routes... We should see the oil run slowly increase in the amount of revenue. We've just got to give it time for them to kind of keep dumping... Get the transport numbers up. Keep dumping the goods on the platforms. And uh, see what's going down. You'll soon know when we start getting like this. 75 refined oil now about to be delivered here we go boys here we go a full load is 2.2 million that's crazy money up to 5.6 well that's worked out fairly well so once we've got a fair amount of money we'll then look towards upgrading the amount of train or well, upgrading the trains the capacity their engines and it should be all okay now, is it all okay over here at the minute? Do I need to think about changing things up slightly? So they're getting their food, but they can't produce enough with the frequency that they've got coming in. So it doesn't matter about delivering more grain. They've got loads of grain. So you could argue we need to set up an, an additional route to deliver food somewhere. So... You can even go to Mildura or Adelaide. We'll deliver it to Adelaide. So we can upgrade this processing factory. So road, uh, buildings, truck and load stop. And we'll make it... Just stop off there. It can kind of loop back and then go back. So if I just create quickly a new line. And it will go from over here to over there. Now, we'll do a connection to the road there, make it a lot easier for us. And we'll call this our Ada. How do I spell Adelaide? Adelaide Food is what we'll call it. Um, we'll give it the color of the food, which is, is it that orange? No, that's the, that's the too bright orange, isn't it? It's this one. Yep. And then we'll just kind of rejig this now to add an additional platform on. So we'll go for the additional one there. Street access. We'll put it this side. Makes life easy for us. Streets. Connecting. So that would change that now to go out that way, which is perfect. This will then upgrade to level 2. So we'll be able to produce more food. And we just need to get... We'll, we'll buy two vehicles for it. Is what we'll do. 
uh, which is Adelaide food. Which you st should start to see the shipment numbers now increase. And then we'll see how we get on with that. We'll give that some sweet time. So, another new route set up. This is really, really exciting. This is really exciting. So, definitely starting to see some big money now coming in. Definitely starting to see the big money coming in. Eventually, we'll have to start thinking about switching out these vehicle routes and replacing them with train lines. Now, Perth... Perth should now have a little bit of a growth but It's now getting a little bit of a steady growth. Now it's starting to get machines and food coming in. But it needs a third one. Which is kind of crazy. We're producing fuel, which is great. Now, anywhere over here that requires fuel. Melbourne and Portland also require fuel. So maybe that could be a run on where we bring... The fuel over to to make some serious money. Could be something that we look at. It could be. This is now upgrading. Which is great to see. Great to see. We could maybe think about upgrading this, but this needs more grain. We could start thinking about replacing this with a train line as well, but it's very small. When you compare it to this oil run, it is very small. Now, do we just spend the remainder of our money right now on upgrading the capacity of the train? So if I was to manage all the vehicles and select them all, and let's just say we first initially edit the... Oh, no, not edit them. Replace them. Now, if I wanted to replace them first with steam... I mean, they're expensive. If I replace them with this engine here, it does 37. Actually, what does the cargo do? The cargo goes up to 50. That goes up to 62. Oh, it's expensive, that is. I've got 11 vehicles, so just selecting that is nearly 40 million on its own. Right. I can always replace the engines in the future. So they have a capacity of 75. If I match the capacity first, so 81, it does mean the trains can go a little bit quicker, but it's not worth spending that money for it. What I could do is replace one of the vehicles and replace them one by one. So I put you on. Actually, I might replace... Uh, let me just see how expensive this will be first. So if I added a 126 capacity, one oh eight capacity, and I could re afford to replace almost three of them. I'll wait for the money to come in and we replace three of them with it. Wow. So where can we see that train? Oh, this is one of them here. It's still got oil. Are we still producing on both sides? I don't think so, are we? No. <clears throat> We're not. You got anything on? No, you have. We're still producing to take back. So what I'm going to say here on that crude oil, when it gets to broom for the second time, that it does not load anything. Oh, snap. I've just deleted that. I didn't mean to delete that. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Oh, hang on. Something's happened. Alright, turn that round. I think because that was about to go on the route that I just kind of messed up, didn't it? Right. That has oh, it hasn't fully loaded because I, I completely messed it up. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Now, can we see another one of those big trains? Oh! Was that a new vehicle? A new passenger vehicle? I'm trying to find where all these trains are. Well, there's one! That hasn't been able to pick up too much. But again, they need so many goods. They need so many. So that is two to one. We have two to one, if you kind of think of it like that. That's one to one. So we have it set up correctly. We've just got to give it time to circulate and drop the goods off. Now, <clears throat> that's my unfortunate train coming in. They've got loads of goods on the platform here. So you just got to give it time. That's all we can do right now is just give it time. But we've upgraded the capacity of the train so we can carry more goods. Deliver more goods. We should see some benefits from it. That's got 75 on. That's got 44. Why have you got 44 on board? Are you on one of the trains that got messed up? It should only unload. There it should only load. Brune. Both. Esperance. Only unload. Laverton. Only load. I think when I deleted that thing, it kind of messed up maybe two trains then. Maybe that's what it did. <clears throat> so that comes in right now and fully loads up. So I think now that's happened, that little bit of oofsky, we should be back into it. The only downside is this train's a lot faster, so it gets to the signal a lot sooner. And it's always going to be catching up the other trains. But we've got a fair few more to still upgrade. I might even have to remove some. We might have too many trains on at that point. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So now I feel like we've maximized those lines. And now I feel like we're going to be making more money than ever. We can actually check our incomes. Yeah, we did spend a lot of money. But the previous year before the current one, we made 16.6 .6 million. The best one before that, 16.3. So we're doing pretty well. We've got the money kind of coming back in again. But now we've got to start thinking about bigger expansions, the bigger picture. And where are we going to send the goods? I want to create a long cross-country run. But I know that's going to be so expensive. And what I eventually want to do is, I want to, for example, this here. I want, we're currently feeding this steel plant with the coal and ore here. I want to scrap that. I want to feed this steel plant from coal and ore on the east coast. And then take the coal and ore from here. And feed that to the east coast. So you back and forth. Like how we do with the oil. But I want to do it with many lines. It's going to be a big challenge. But we should be able to do it boys. We should be able to do it right now. Trains are heading back out. When you see two trains close by. You know the second one. Is the one of the new upgraded train. <laughs> but that's coming in now anyway. That's going to drop a load of goods off. I'm not quite sure if it does it even. Yeah, it does do it evenly. It does do it evenly. Now produce a lot more. For the next train to come in. we just got to keep shifting it, boys. That's all we can do is keep shifting it. And the numbers will eventually increase. Guys, hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.